if you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciple, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. John verse 8, 31b to 32. Gospel of the day, Luke verse 14, 12 to 14. He said also to the man who had invited him, When you give a dinner or a bouquet, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your kinsmen or rich neighbors, lest they also invite you in return and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, and you will be blessed, because they cannot repay you. You will be repaid at the resurrection of the just. Reflection Jesus isn't condemning dinner parties with friends and family. Rather, he's highlighting the importance of our intentions. It's not the act of toasting that's in question, but the pursuit of praise it may conceal. Vain glory as a reward for our deeds is empty and harmful to our spiritual well-being. We must examine our motivations. Are we seeking attention or genuinely serving others? Jesus commands act of kindness done without expectation or repayment, teaching us to find joy in humble and sin service. Reflect on your desire for recognition. Imagine your hard work benefiting others. Yet, you remain anonymous. Ideally, you'd feel joy for the service rendered and because only God knows of your charity. God's recognition, not human praise, should be our aim as His eternal rewards far outweigh the flaming satisfaction of glory. Most glorious God, you came to earth to suffer and die. In that act of perfect love, you brought about the greatest good ever known. You offered this holy service of love in the most hidden and humble of ways. As a result, you are now glorified forever. Help me to share in your acts of humble and hidden service so that I too, may one day share in the glory of heaven. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.